What's going on guys, Matty Russell here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a radial flow settler for your aquaponic system. Let's get stuck into the video. Now, when it comes to choosing which drum you wanna use in order to build a radial flow settler for your aquaponic system, I'd highly recommend these blue barrels behind me here. It has a 200 litre capacity. And unlike the ones with the black lids, these ones have a relatively straight wall without the curve at the top or the bottom, making it easier for the bulkhead fitting or tank outlet fitting to be installed. Now the first thing we want to do is gain access to the inside of the drum. In order to do that we're going to take our angle grinder and cut it around the perimeter in order to make a lid. Okay guys, so now that we've cut the lid off of the drum in order to convert it into a radial flow settler, the next step is to drill the necessary holes for the water inlet, the water outlet, and a tap which will install down the bottom in order to clean out the solid fish waste from the radial flow settler. Both the water inlet and the water outlet are achieved by using a 40 millimeter bulkhead fitting. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the 50 millimeter hole saw on the drill. When it comes to installing the tap, I've gone with 25 millimeter PVC pipe. So we've got a 25 millimeter bulkhead fitting and I'll drill that out with a 38 millimeter hole saw on the drill. But first up, let's do the inlet and the outlet. Now when it comes to installing the water inlet from the fish tank to the radial flow settler, I like to put the bulkhead fitting in roughly the middle of the radial flow settler. So I'm gonna drill a 50 millimeter hole right about there. Now when it comes to drilling a hole for the water outlet and the radial flow filter, I'm gonna go ahead and drill my hole at 900 millimeters off the ground. The water outlet from the fish tank is 1,000 millimeters off the ground or one meter, and the grow beds themselves will be 800 millimeters off the ground. So by drilling the water outlet at 90 millimeters in the radial flow settler, we maintain a consistent gradient for the water to be gravity fed throughout the system. Right, now that we've drilled out the inlet and the outlet, I'm gonna take a 38 millimeter hole saw in the drill and drill out a hole for the 25 millimeter bulkhead fitting which we'll use to install the tap. I'm gonna install the tap right about here which will be positioned around the back of the radial flow settler. Now that we've drilled out all the holes, we're gonna go ahead and install the bulkhead fittings into the radial flow settler. Right, so now that we've drilled all the holes and installed the tank outlet fittings, it's time to plumb up the radial flow settler. Let me show you how it's done. Now the piping you're gonna need is a 45 millimeter threaded female adapter, 40 millimeter pipe, 45 degree angle elbow, 40 millimeter pipe, 45 degree angle elbow, 40 millimeter pipe, 45 degree angle elbow, 40 millimeter pipe, another 45 degree angle elbow, 40 millimeter pipe, and lastly, a male 45 millimeter threaded adapter. First, we wanna take our 40 millimeter threaded female adapter and thread it onto the bulkhead fitting coming out of the fish tank. We take a 40 millimeter section of pipe and use it to attach a 45 degree angle elbow. Take another section of 40 millimeter pipe and again use it to attach another 45 degree angle elbow. Which essentially gives us a 90 degree turn. We take our 40 millimeter vertical pipe and install it in the bottom of the 45 degree angle elbow. We're gonna take another 45 degree angle elbow, another 40 millimeter pipe and use it to attach another 45 degree angle elbow again giving us another 90 degree bend. We then wanna take our 40 millimeter threaded male adapter and thread it into the bulkhead fitting into the radial flow settler. Once it's attached, we take our 40 millimeter pipe coming out of the 45 degree angle elbow and position it inside the adapter.
like so. Now when it comes to installing the internal pipework inside the radial flow settler, we want to take a 40mm threaded female adapter and thread it onto the bulkhead fitting. From there we use a section of 40mm pipe to attach a 45 degree angle elbow into the adapter. We then take another section of 40mm pipe in order to install yet another 45 degree angle elbow, again giving us a 90 degree turn. From there you want to take a vertical section of 40mm pipe to act as a standpipe inside the radial flow settler. Next we're going to move on to the internal section of pipework for the tap down the bottom. You want to take a 25mm threaded male adapter and thread it into the bulkhead fitting. From there we take a 20mm horizontal section of pipe attached to a 90 degree angle elbow going down into a 25mm vertical pipe with a 25 to 40 millimeter reducer in order to attach a 40 millimeter flange to the bottom. Now quickly guys, the reason we have a 40 millimeter flange down the bottom connected to the tap is that it essentially works like a solid lift overflow. When you turn the tap faucet on, it sucks up all of the solid fish waste from the bottom of the radial flow settler, distributes it out through the tap, exiting the system. Once we have the outlet to the fish tank, the inlet to the radial flow settler and the outlet to the radial flow settler as well as the tap around the back installed, the next part is to go ahead and install a 90mm pipe with an end cap to the underside of the lid. Now in order to do that, I fixed an end cap with tech screws to the bottom side of the lid. I then went ahead and installed the 90mm pipe into the end cap and if we flip it over, it now slides down nicely over the top of the 40 millimeter standpipe inside the radial flow settler. Now guys, the way a radial flow settler actually works is that the solid fish waste comes out through the solid lift overflow outlet from the fish tank down into the radial flow settler, is carried by the water up the standpipe, which is 40 millimeters, and then cascades or flows down over the edge of the 40 millimeter pipe. Now what actually causes it to flow down instead of just floating on top and going straight out into the grow beds through the tank outlet fitting is the 90 millimeter shroud that goes down over the top of it. What that does is force a change of direction in the water flow which causes the solid fish waste to then go downwards and once it exits the bottom of the 90 millimeter pipe on the outside of the 40 millimeter pipe it enters a large volume of water. The solid fish waste then settles down at the bottom of the radial flow settler while clean water with all the solids removed flows up the top here and exits through the tank outlet fitting into what will be the grow beds. Effectively removing the vast majority of the solid fish waste out of the system and preventing it from settling in your grow beds. If you're getting a lot out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That helps the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel. This is of course only video number two in a whole series of videos of how to effectively build an aquaponic system out of IBC containers. In next week's video, I'll be showing you how to make four grow beds for your aquaponic system. And there you have it guys, that's how you build a radial flow settler for your aquaponic system. If you want to know how to build the fish tank, including a solid lift overflow, I'll leave a link in the video description below. Also, you can check it out right here, and we'll catch you in the next one.